What's up guys, this is Kasi and I'm doing another tutorial for you guys because I have gotten a lot of um, questions about tutorials and in future I want you everybody to give the tutorial suggestions in this box right here on my channel uh, ask your audience tutorial suggestions and just write them in here whatever you want to know and I got a few su suggestions here and this is one the effect that's uh, the second O24 and I'm doing going to do that and we're also going to look at this Adobe After Effects Twitch effect this is what we're gonna look at today too and we also gonna look at Twixstar and Real Smart Motion Blur so yeah this is what we're gonna do today uh, it's a basic clip I got in a t team deathmatch, so it's nothing special with a clip. And edit, I did it on like two minutes, so whatever. Uh, just watch this and see what we're gonna do. Come on, oh. here we go. And by the way, the twixter in this clip is very bad because I don't know this clip is like broken or something. Um, but I couldn't get the smooth twixter. But right here is pretty good. But yeah, anyways, and I just added a simple color correction too. Um, but anyways, I'm going to go over the effects right here uh, to start off with. Real mo real smart motion blur is a plugin, and that's like motion blur. You see here how smooth the clip is. Like when I walk up here and the pistols come out real smooth here. Uh, that's that's basically real smooth, real smart motion blur. And the other effect we're gonna go over is the effect at 024 seconds on that clip that the guy wanted to know. And this is the CC Tyler when the clip basically goes out and like it's uh, boxes with other clips and the sides or whatever. And and on that clip you also added a CC lens to get it like lens shaped, but whatever. And the twitch effect is the like the colors you can see right here, the green, the red, the blue, like splits the colors. And it's pretty nice. And here's some more twixter, very bad twixter. Uh yeah, whatever. Um, I'm just gonna to delete everything here um, wow it's pretty slow right now delete real smart motion blur uh, we're not gonna do color correct this thing but whatever and let's see here um, oh right we're going to delete the twitch here and we're going to delete this layer. So basically we got all the clip here and first of all I'm going to go over the real smart motion blur. As I said it's a plugin and you just click the clip and go to effects, go down to revision plugins and go to real smart smart motion blur. And I like to do put the main GB sensitivity up to 100 and that's all I do to make it look like real smooth and then right here we are going to add some Twixter let me see right there click click and Twixter is also a revision plugin so you go down here to revision plugins and uh, go down some more to Twixstore Pro. And my clip is in 59.94 frames per second. So I'm going to get it to 59.94 frames per second. Mm. Like that. And to like, um, to like get the slow motion effect, you have to keyframe. And you basically do that with this button here, yes press that, now it's a hundred 
percent speed, which means it's full speed. Uh, you can also speed it up with Twister, but uh, and never mind. Whatever. Um, I'm just gonna go for maybe three or four frames. Then I'm going to put it at let's do no three speed three actually actually. You see it goes pretty slow here and boom there goes shot. Um so I want the CC Tyler to come in about here when the ghosting or the bad twixter is coming, like right there maybe. Uh, so the CC Tyler is a disort effect, so you go, go down to disort, uh, CC Tyler, and this is the, you know, a lot of boxes with clips, uh, you can adjust that with a scale here, you just put a percent to whatever you're liking, but I'm going to start off by doing 100% here, I'm going to keyframe that, and I'm going to go right forward a few frames, like right there, going to put it at maybe like this so you see nine boxes and it automatically keyframe itself if yeah if you have keyframe it already so and then I'm just gonna go for, forward a few frames more here and go back to 100% and there goes the shot boom um, uh, so what the guy also wanted to know uh, is how the whole whole effect uh, was made. So uh, he basically added some more um, the sword effect. It's called CC lens under the sword and CC lens. And the CC lens biggest uh, size is 500. So we're gonna start off with at 500 and we're gonna keyframe it right there. Go up to about there go to like I don't know maybe mm, right there maybe that seems pretty good and it ultimately key frame itself again and then you just go right there till it has zoomed out zoomed in again and we just get this up to 500 again like this and if you oh shit wait I'm going to fix a thing here I'm going to drag this CC lens a little way in this direction actually because I want it oh yeah that's okay anyways um, what's also cool to add is this uh, twitch effect that I'm also going to go over uh, and what I'd like to do is add a new layer, an adjustment layer, to add the twitch effect in. And I'm just going to add it right where the Twixter starts. And it's a video copilot plugin, so right there. And I like to do... Um, this basically depends on what you're using it for, but I like to do it like speed about 20, 22 or something and first I'm going to go amount 0 and I'm going to enable slide and blur and we're gonna go to operation controls to get the RGB split effect we're gonna go drag the, the, drag the slide down a little like 20 or something and drag this up to about 70 or 80 or something? 80 I think. Um, we're gonna close this down. Mm, right there. Um, then we're gonna keyframe the amount by clicking the stopwatch. Go forward like right to the end of the clip and put it up to about 35 maybe. Let's we'll see here what look good. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Whatever. Uh, you basically want to experiment, experiment with this effect because this isn't looking that good at the moment, but whatever. Um, yeah, and then I'm just going to 
Oh, that's right. I had to split this layer right there. Um, go to split layer and yes, delete that. And then it's, it's Twixter on the last clip there. So that's basically how to do it. And yeah, whatever. I'm. Uh, I don't. I don't have time to add a CC color correction, but whatever. And yeah. This is for very use, useful effects that I like to use, and a lot of people use these effects, so yeah, they are pretty cool. Um, just want to thank everybody for watching, and hope you enjoyed this tutorial, learned a few things or whatever. And uh, also, I'm very happy if you will like this video or whatever, if you like it, and maybe leave a comment or something, if something was unclear. Um, go ahead and suggest a tutorial on my page, and yeah, till next guy, guys, bye.